in some ways, people who are new to the play, I think, would watch something and they, and young people, for instance, when they first see it, they're kind of astonished by it. And as they move through the play, they are experiencing things, some of which are very familiar, like deeply familiar. And yet, what is happening? And why all this uncertainty? What is going on? And sometimes the questions are impenetrable. And you don't know what you're in, and then it ends. I think that's part of the experience. You don't know what it is until you get to the end. That's what it was. Whatever you think of that thing that you just went through, that's it. Essentially, it's about two guys who are waiting for this person, probably person, named Gatto, and uncertain as to whether he'll come and uncertain to, as to the consequence of him coming, if he comes, consequence of him not coming, uncertain. And in the meantime, as they wait, there are two people who have spent a long time together. And one in particular feels for reasons that I could articulate, that I understand from my own psychology, wants to leave does not want to stay in the relationship, but can't tear himself away because of various attachments, fears. So, you know, on one level, it's about a relationship. I think one of the, the central elements in it is that it's a metaphor for what we do in life, which is we wait for something better, I think. That's, what I'm, that's where I'm at right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. We wait for something better, and usually, it doesn't come. <laughs> and when it does come, it doesn't last very long. So what happens is, you know, so when you're on your high, the only place to go is back down to something not so good. So it's, it, it sounds kind of awful in the, that sense, but it isn't. It's, it's extraordinarily, uh, I think, entertaining. And, well, and we say we have, in the play, guests, each of our, the characters say, this is awful. This is I mean, awful. They yeah, comment we, we, on we the experience the audience is having. That's right. That's right. So it's it, it, an enormous amount happens for a play that somebody described as a play where nothing happens twice because it's in two acts. <laughs> but it's, uh, it is. It's, and it's an extraordinary journey to, to rehearse it. Someone described the play once as a bag of broken mirrors, which I thought was quite astute because it's like, are you looking at the thing itself? Are you looking at the reflection of it? Are you looking at the reflection of the reflection? Because it's moving, but it's more dynamic than an inert bag of mirrors. It's a really extraordinary play. I feel so privileged and it's rare that you get to work on a play like that.